Well, you did it. You got me back to my room safe and sound. Look, I don't care if I am being overbearing. Yet. Protective. I lost you once. I don't want to go through that again. And I'm very grateful. But uh, Aunt Mac and Felicia waiting for you? I mean, I thought the plan was to brainstorm ways to get Anna out of this. Look, you were always really good in a crisis. You could be of enormous help to us. Come with me. I'd love to. You know that, but I'm completely done in. So, good luck. And, uh, good night? Yeah. Good night. Good news and bad news. Uh, let's start with the good. No new evidence against Anna has turned up. What about the bad? ADA Arden thinks she has enough to convince a jury to convict. I'm trying to find a judge who'll be somewhat lenient in granting Anna bail. Any chance of keeping Anna where she is to await trial? She goes to Pentonville. <laughs> we can't protect her. Beautiful night, isn't it, Holly? Now, do you have some news for me? Ran into Sonny at Rice Plaza. He, uh, offered to help Anna. Help how? Well, I didn't ask for details. I just said, no, she doesn't need your assistance. Are you sure that was a good idea? Alicia. I'm just saying, isn't Anna's safety the most important? We have less than 24 hours until she's transferred to Pentonville. Robert, everything okay? I'm just debating whether I should call in and see Holly. There was something off about her when I said goodnight. So, what's Robert's latest plan for Anna? Where's your pet? No, don't worry. Your hand's not far. I know better than to be alone with thee, Holly Sutton. You know, you were disappointingly vague on the phone earlier. Does Robert have a plan to keep Anna out of Pentonville or not? He's trying to get a new judge assigned on Anna's case, one who would be open to granting bail. Oh, well, that's easily taken care of. Anything else? You are keeping up your end of the bargain, aren't you? Your, your friends don't suspect that you're lying to them with every breath. As if you'd given me any choice. Oh, come on, admit it. You're having just the teensiest bit of fun. Betraying my friends isn't fun, it's torture. Not as bad as being back in that cell, is it? Didn't think so. Two years as your prisoner was more than enough. Then be a good girl and do what you're told. And what will you do if I don't? The same thing I did to Lucy Coe. I'm worried about Holly. I mean, the fact that she's been through two years of her life and can't account for it, what? Is somebody making her forget? Maybe she's blocking something out that she can't stand to remember. I tried to get her to open up. It was obvious she didn't want to talk about it. Maybe she's afraid of what will happen if those memories come back. Whatever she's been through, I'm, I'm gonna be there for her. We all will. Robert isn't easily deterred, you know. <laughs> of course he isn't. That's exactly why you're here. To distract him. Otherwise, I'd have to take him out permanently. I'll take care of Robert, and damn you for making me do this. You know, I thought you'd be more grateful. I bought your freedom from Winston Rudge, after all. You know, if I hadn't done that, you really would have died in that explosion. I will never thank you for letting my loved ones think I was dead all this time. Oh, come on, be reasonable. I couldn't have you running around spoiling all my plans. Besides, I thought you might come in handy. <laughs> Look, here we are. Once Anna is in prison, 
Then you let me go. That's the arrangement. Once Anna is convicted of Lucy's murder, you'll be free. But remember who you left behind. If you hurt him, I will kill you myself. Are you gonna tell him? Tell me what? <sighs> You've got enough on your mind. Well, this will be one more thing. So spill. It turns out I might have a son. Come again? Dominique's son showed up in town, and the timing fits. When? When we might have. No, 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 no. When did the kids show up in town? A few months ago. And you're telling me this now? I didn't know at first, and then Cody didn't want to have anything okay. to do with me. Cody? Bell? That dude you pointed to at the Metro Court? Correct. He finally agreed to a DNA test. Oh. What do you think about this? About possibly having a son who's a complete stranger? He won't be a stranger for long if he turns out to be part of our family. What was that for? That's for not telling me. You know I hate secrets. My guest is no worse for wear. You'd better stay that way. You complete your assignment, and I'll happily bid the pair of you adieu. You bastard. You watch your tone. Remember, I have his life in my hands. One misstep from you, and... Room for one more. Uh well, Robert Scorpio, how good to see you. I gotcha. Good to see you up in the bell. Yeah. Listen, I've been wanting to thank you for all the support you gave me in the hospital, so let me buy you a drink. Well, I'll have to take a bit of a rain check on him now. I'm off to um, pick up Holly. Yeah, oh yeah. Well, I, I heard about her uh, reappearance. It's so fascinating. You and I have spent one whole afternoon talking about our past glories and voila one of yours returns to the fold it's almost as if you willed it into existence i am very grateful i am um, i hope it's everything that you want already say good night you look freezing where have you been well i i put my head on my pillow and then found myself wide awake of course so i went for a walk i thought the fresh air might help no gloves you always forgot your gloves oh so i'm the problem am i well it's poor charles um it's too cold. You never complained before, you? Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, you did. <laughs> a lot. But at least you were always there to keep me warm. They were the days. That was a unexpected. Some things just never change. You're right. There's something I haven't told you. You know you can tell me anything. I may not remember much about the last two years, but this I am certain of. It was you, the thought of you, seeing you again one day, that kept me going. Well, 
Definitely not the best resolve I've ever had, but... Mm. <laughs> I promised you there was nothing about that kiss that was boring. Mm -hmm. But that walk is catching up with me now, and I'm exhausted. Well, maybe you should go to bed. Talk with you tomorrow. <laughs>